Hello everyone, this is Joel from the UV Geek Studios, and as you can see, or if you've been following us on our YouTube channel, my Tesla wall connector suddenly stopped working. How do I know this? I got the blinking red light. So this happened after uh, ha this happened after a storm a few weeks ago. Um, stopped working. It still does charge my car at only six amps, so that's not going to work. I was able to reach out to Tesla, got a hold of them quickly. Uh, they were able to walk through and diagnose the problem, and they said that there was an overheating issue at the end of the connector here. So, luckily, in case you don't know this, these wall connectors come with a five-year warranty. So, this was only four and a half years old. All I had to do was supply Tesla with the proof of purchase and an email and some pictures of some of the lights and some of the warnings I was getting in my card and my app. And after that, a week later, as you can see, I got my brand new Tesla wall connector. So what we're going to do is walk through the steps on how to replace this. It's very easy to do. Um, actually, Tesla sent me instructions and a video on how to replace it and connect it to Wi-Fi. We're going to walk you through those steps. As always, the first thing you want to do is turn off the breaker. So we're going to come back here shortly, flip off that breaker, breaker and walk you through the install steps of your new Tesla wall connector. See you in a bit. Okay, we've made our way over to our circuit box. So I'm gonna flip this open. We're gonna find the link that says Tesla wall connector. As you can see here, it's 40 amps. So I'm gonna flip that off. And now let's go back in. We should have no power to our Tesla wall charger anymore. And we can now begin work on it. All right, welcome back. So now we're getting ready to pop our old one off, which shouldn't just take but a few minutes. One thing I did notice, so during these instructions, what you have to do is you have to pop off two, two screws at the top and two screws at the bottom, and then this whole thing just pulls off the wall and you snap your new one back on. However, the screws that hold them in have the star heads on them, and Tesla does not send you a little star head screw, uh, a little scar head device, take those off with. So luckily with my, electric drill set it came with one of those star screws adapters to take that off so right now what we're gonna do is pop the old one off and then get ready to put the new one back on all right as you can see simple as that pop the old one off let's get it out of the way and let's get ready to put our new one on. All right, we're ready to pop our new one back on. As you see, this new one here comes with a little handle here. You just pull that off. Screws and stuff inside if you need it. Also four new screws um, to attach this with. So let's pop this on. Let's get it screwed in. All right, as you can see, we got it locked securely in place. Let's go over, turn that breaker on. We should see a green light pop up and then we'll walk through the steps of what you need to do to connect this app to your Wi-Fi. See you in a sec. All right, we are back over at our breaker box. Remember, we got a 40 amp circuit here, so we're gonna flip it on. Let's go check to make sure everything is working. All right, so as you can see now, we have a blinking green light, which means it's working, which means I can plug it into my car and charge it right now. However, it's not connected to my Wi-Fi. So when you do that, you're able to set up, you know, who can charge, how many amps you want to pull out. Remember, that's a 40 amp circuit. So I don't want anything more than 32 amps coming out of this thing um, to charge my car. Um, the car, a Tesla car will recognize that, but you want to go ahead and add that to the default settings within uh, the wall connector. So in case someone else comes in and plugs in, you want to make sure their car gets enough amperage or not, or you want to make sure their car gets enough amps and not too many amps when plugging in the charge. So next up we're going to do is run through the steps on how to set this up with the Tesla Pro app. You will need the Tesla Pro app, or I believe they call it Tesla One app, and I'll show you that here in a second for what you need to download. So back in one sec. All right, we are now on our phone. We're gonna open up the Tesla One app, which is at the bottom of my screen. So once you get that opened up, you can begin walking through the installation process. It's gonna unlock it. 
And as you can see, you would hit add new installation and scan the QR code. I've already done that, so I'm gonna click on test the wall connector and then Tesla device setup. After that, it's going to ask me to hold the button down on my wall connector handle for five seconds. Once I do that, it will light up blue on the screen and then I will hit OK to begin the next step of the process. The next step would be to join the Wi-Fi network, which is on the Tesla wall connector, and it will then walk through the steps to connect the device to the Wi-Fi. After you're done, it brings it up here, and you are ready to go. As you can see, I've already went in and selected my amperage, which is 40 amps. Remember, that's what I'm running here, so it's, I'm gonna get 32 amps max to charge. Next, I'm gonna make sure that you can allow all vehicles or only some vehicles to have access. This works out well in case you charge outside or charge out of business. You can determine who has access. After that, if you choose to, you can go ahead and join the Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead and have it join my Wi-Fi network. Go ahead and type in that password. For the Wi-Fi network. Now this step could take a few minutes and I believe the one time I did it did time out. So I had to redo it again. No big deal. Just make sure that you do that. It will ask to connect to the wall connector again. All right, we have successfully connected ourselves to the Wi-Fi here at my house. We're gonna close out of that. Make sure we haven't done anything else that we need to do. Actually, right now, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and then check for software updates. So as you can see, my wall connector does need an update. So after clicking that tab, I'm gonna go ahead and update it. I will let you know that this process did time out as well. Not a big deal. I was able to connect it back again to the Wi-Fi connector, to the, sorry, to the wall charger connector and then uh, continue the process. Now that our software has finished updating, uh, you can go back into the app. I always suggest checking for software updates once or twice a year. As you can see, this is the most current version, so I am up to date. And as you can see, there is nothing else I need to take care of for this. So quick and easy steps on how to set up the wall connector in the app, connecting it to Wi-Fi, connecting it to your home access, giving access control, and also checking for software updates. When you're done, you can hit exit device setup at the bottom and you should be good to go. All right, so as you can see, blinking green light, we are good to go. This took less than 10 or 15 minutes to swap out, probably less than that if I wasn't filming. But as you can see, we walked through the steps of making sure you cut the power off before you do any electrical work, cut the power off to the circuit. Um, four of those truck screws, we took those out, pulled those out, snapped this new one on, screwed them back in, um, and then went through the configuration setup with the, with the Wi-Fi. It was actually, it was probably the longest part. And then after all that, we were done, we make sure that circuit's back on so we got power to this. So if you have any questions, let me know, drop them in the comments. Also wanna give a huge shout out to Seal Solar. So originally this was, part of my, this was part of my solar install at my house. So I didn't have a proof of purchase on it. It was part of my solar package. I reached out to Seal Solar. The team down there did a great job within about 24 to 48 hours in giving me that proof of purchase so I could send to Tesla. They also contacted Tesla too to make sure, you know, what people were telling me was correct. It was. So once I got that proof of purchase and the Tesla, like I said, they needed some photos too of the lights and of the handle to make sure it wasn't user error to make sure I didn't damage it. Um, but once I set that in, within a week, I had the wall connector at my house. Uh, they have asked that I send the old one back. So I'm gonna get the old one box back up, send it back to them. They did provide me UPS label, but we are up and running. Huge shout out once again to Tesla, Seal Solar to get me back up and charging here at my house. Thank you all for joining us, and as always, put your comments or questions below, and we'll do our best to answer them. Thanks, everyone.